let's take a look at class inheritance in Python. So first of all, I'm going to create a document. So this is going to be called my drawing.py. So I'll put my classes inside of here. And then I'm going to create another one. Let's see. And this one I will call, it would just be my driver program. So, um, which is not a normal, I'd, normal name I'd use for a program, but that's okay. We'll just use this so we can get the difference between the two. So one does a drawing and one is a driver that runs the drawing program. So I'm going to open both of these with Notepad++. Let's uh, put this one as well. All right, so I've got my drawing and my driver. So my drawing, I'm going to go ahead and create a class. Class point. And so it's going to be a drawing, just a single point on the screen. Now this point needs to have some kind of a symbol. So I'm just going to create a symbol right here. Symbol equals, and we'll just make it a, an X. And then we'll go ahead and do my def init. And so I'm going to receive, whenever I create an object, uh, a symbol from this and um, it will, I guess it will overwrite that symbol, that's fine. So do self underscore symbol equals the symbol passed in. And then I need to have a set symbol command. So def set symbol, so I can change it if I want to, self symbol and do the same thing I guess right here or self symbol equals symbol passed in and then finally I need to have a draw and my draw just draws out the diagram and really that's about it and uh, for this one I just print out my symbol So let's go ahead and test this, <clears throat> save it right here and go to the driver and I'm going to import um, everything from drawing and um, run the driver. So from drawing import star and then I'm going to create a point P equals my point and I'll pass in the symbol, actually I'll just pass it like this because it's using the default, which is right here. So that'll be what it'll be. The symbol will be just a single dot. And then I want to draw it. And so I will do P draw. Run this right now. So I will see I have a drawing and a driver and I will do driver. All right, so it draws a single dot, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, now I want to make this thing a little bit more advanced, and I'm going to have it have a square. And so a square is similar to a point, except <clears throat> it has other features. And I'm going to inherit from point. So what does that do? Well, what it does is it says that now everything that's in point now becomes part of square. So square has all the abilities from point. And I can then override certain things. So I'm going to override, override the init. So the way I do that is I just create an init function. And so this init function is now overriding the init function for point inside of square. So I could do that. So symbol equals, and I can have my default be something different. 
and maybe I'll have a, um, a size equal three. So these are the variables being passed into my uh, initialization method here. Now, I might want to call a method from the parent. This is the parent class right here. If I want to call a method from the parent class, I can do that. I just have to say super and then actually name the method I'm calling and pass in the variables I'm passing in. So symbol. So I'm taking the symbol being passed in here and I'm calling the init function of my parent, which then sets my symbol eternally, internally. And also because I have an extra variable or attribute size, I'm going to go ahead and save that as well. So self underscore size equals the size passed in. All right, I can also override my draw function. So override draw because I don't want to have the same exact draw function. But I can still keep the set symbol in place and not touch anything there. And I still have variables in place and, and things like that. So I'll do def draw self. So same kind of thing. But this one is, um, I'm going to be drawing a square, which is whatever the size by whatever size. So I will do a 4 h for height in range self dot size so it's going to go through um, size number of times or different lines and then for width I guess in range self size and what do I do I'm going to print um, self symbol and I don't want to actually have a new line at the end so do end equals nothing so that will just print it out and then when I finish the width section I want to just print a new line so that we can see things here. All right, so now what I have is a, a point class, which has all this stuff that draws a point, a square class that is now inheriting from the point class. And so I should be able to use the set symbol from the point class that's been inherited in, into the square class when I'm creating square objects. So let's go ahead and save that. <clears throat> And then I'll go ahead and create a square. So um, s equals square. And um, let's just use default values. So it'd be a 3 by 3 square. And I'll use the hash mark. And I can draw it first just so we can see that it works. Save that and run it. And you can see it draws first my point, and then it draws my square. I can go ahead and modify the attributes here. So before I draw this, I could do S, um, and then it was a um, set symbol and pass a new symbol. Set symbol, and let's pass it the um, exclamation mark. Save that and run it again. And you can see that it has changed the symbol being used. And even though it looks like it shouldn't have had the set symbol because it inherited from the parent class, the set symbol is now in the child class. And this can be really useful when you want to have things that are generally the same ish, but then they they just process things slightly differently in some cases. And you can guarantee that certain methods are there when you use inheritance. All right. 
Um, hope that helps you get started.